2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Zurich Classic of New Orleans. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts, if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. This is an exciting one, Rich. Let's get into the action. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Uh, great shot. Second shot here on the first. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. This one's going right at the pin here. That was special. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This is what they have left for birdie here. That's very impressive. Trying to make a statement early and often. Currently 15 under par for the event. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Wow, they're thinking of going for this one. Interesting choice of the driver here. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Time for the fifth shot. Are you kidding me? And look out, guys. This rivalry looks like it's going to get pretty interesting today as he's making up some ground on his playing partner. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? There's part of about six feet coming up. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Setting the tone early in this round. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This is looking pretty good in the air. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Henny, 
You've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one will run uphill. Oh, that's a nice line. Ooh. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. And after that hole, they currently lead in first place with John Rahm in second. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Oh, that is bombed. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. And if they didn't have their rival Tony Finau's attention before, they certainly do now. What an approach shot. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Ooh, right by the hole. That's disappointing. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that Birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Players want to move the tee shot from right to left on this hole because there's some trees on the tee box that'll kind of force you that direction. So driver may not be the play. The second shot, however, that's where it gets interesting. This green absolutely belongs in a skate park. This has more humps and bumps and wobbles in it. It is a very cool design. Oh, come on, sit. This would be a great up and down. What a shot. Ah, nicely done. Great chip. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. This one was a great chip in. I could watch this all day. Now over to Tony Finau. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Ooh, that almost went down. Beauty of a chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. It's time to begin this powerful hole. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the sixth.
And he's hit that inside the range. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. This is, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's outstanding, what a putt. And let's have one more look at that shot. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. Now that finds him in first place. Ting off here at the seventh. Pete Dye put a zit in the middle <laughs> of this fairway <laughs> and it absolutely needs to be popped. It's almost like a magnet here, golf ball. You drive it in that fairway bunker and you're absolutely beside yourself on how your golf ball could end up in something so small. It is a brilliant design, a brilliant bunker on a hole that should be birdieable by everybody in the field. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Got to be aggressive. Love this play out here. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What's in front of them, Henny? Uh, this is an outside chance. Maybe a lag putt even. He's got 30 feet. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. Fist pumps all round. That is how you do it from outside range. That was huge. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, what a super shot. How about that, Luke? Chipping in for the eagle. That shot's so good. We need to have another look. Yeah, they were looking at an up and down, but just down. An extraordinary performance. This player is now 12 strokes in front of the field. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Oh, well done. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Birdied their last hole from the sand. Are they able to get up and down? Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Putting for birdie. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honor on the hole. Going with the six iron here. Oh, 
that's well played and a chance for birdie here at the ninth 11 feet to the cup all right guys this for two birdies in a row what a putt started this perfectly that will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies back-to-back -back birdies never hurt rich gotta like it he's feeling it he sits in first position Well, let's get stuck into the 10th hole, shall we? Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, they're going to walk this one in. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. A birdie putter waits. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Still in the lead now after that hole. Now with the honour on a par five. Tee shot is looking good here. Second shot here on the 11th. Time to play from the bunker. Ow! Don't give him praise, just look with admiration. That's serious talent. Yeah, good effort, that one, out of the bunker. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. That's a fighting effort. Hit it in strife, but managed to make a good score regardless. Up and down, out of the bunker for birdie here, Luke. Job well done. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. That's nicely done. This shot from about 190 yards out. Opting for the six iron. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. This is their look at birdie. This is on a stupendous line. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Just a four-footer remaining. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's happy, just came off a birdie. This has eyes for the hole. Oh, just missed. 
It's time to check on the leaderboard. You've arrived at a par four. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. We've known some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Looking good. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Getting ready to play their third. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top drawer. Great touch. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Oh, what a great stroke. That's a good putt to make. That sets the great players from the good ones. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. <laughs> Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well, this one's going right at the flag. That was a beauty. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Wow. Wow. That was about a 100 chance. And back to the course with the live action. All these are good putts to make. Good for momentum. Right on seven feet.
On a nice line. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. He's currently sitting in first place. And a par four awaits at this next hole. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. This putt is about eight feet. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Beautiful shot. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Big time play that one at the right time too. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Going with the hybrid. Outstanding shot, high quality. And they've been rolling the ball Great today, another great look. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Wonderful shot. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And now striding to the final tee of this round. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Now he's got his eyes set on the putting surface. An aggressive play here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Putting for an eagle. He was on a good line. Right on four feet. Should make this one. And with that, this round comes to a close.